Hi, it's me, Tony. I have a script. If you see me look down, that's why. So this is the second video in my global work and travel like series thing that's going on here. Um, it's been a while since I filmed the last video and it's also been a while since I wrote this script. So bear with me. The trip is confirmed. I got the project logistics summary and the pre-departure guide. Let's go through it. So the project logistics summary, I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, but it is pretty much a summary of what's gonna happen. So here's the gist. Arrive between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday, January 1st, 2023 in the new year. A driver at the airport has your name. Movie, movie vibes, right? <laughs> I'm excited for that. <laughs> Tokyo, Japan, that's where we're going. The school that I'm going to is gonna be Genki Japanese and Culture School. And the classes are from January 2nd to February 10th, six weeks altogether. And it's planned to leave February 11th. I'm gonna be in a private room in a shared house. That's everything on the logistics summary the logistics summary so let's move on to the departure guide they sent these both at the same time well they were supposed to send them both at the same time but the person who was sending them sent one and then i emailed them and i was like uh and then they sent me the other one sorry whatever yeah okay they have a lot to do with it's fine it's still months away anyway pre-departure guide it's six pages and it's all about Japan, like what to expect and things like that. So again, here's the gist. Number one in the one category, it's pretty much talking about to have the right visa, have a health check and like things to pack. I don't think I'll really, I don't think I'll need a visa because I'm not gonna be there long enough for me to have a visa or need a visa. And the second part, it's all about health, travel insurance, safe travel, and behavior. I'll be like representing the program, Global Work and Travel. So of course they want it to be where your behavior represents them. You know, you don't want to be like doing crimes or I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? It also talks about mopeds. Pretty much that lots of people get hurt if you ride a moped. So like don't ride mopeds which I just think is kind of odd and funny. Um, but there's that in this section. Remember, this is just a gist of everything. The third category talks about emergency contacts, Japan information, the climate. It's a fancy word for weather. Costs, here's the graph. You can pause that if you want to look more into it. Cash, ATMs, entertainment and trains. So you know, I already know lots of this stuff, but you know, trains come on time. They use trains for pretty much almost all transportation, you know, like to get everywhere. Um, it's a cash-based society. It's getting better, but um, it's better to have cash and things like could be fun, things that could be fun. And it also talks about SIM cards and Wi-Fi, which I've thought about so much four years because of when I was going to go to Japan. Uh, I'm gonna get portable Wi-Fi, uh, it's the best way. SIM cards are more expensive. And they also say that you can get like a discount with Global Work and Travel, but I'm gonna look more into that because to be honest, I've seen them in the past where they're only like $12, like maybe a week or maybe even a month, I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's changed or what, but I'm gonna compare and contrast because I want the cheapest option. This is already expensive. Section four talks about getting to Tokyo and accommodation. You know, it's just a general gist. If any of this you wanna like read more specifically into exactly what I'm talking about, about Japan, contact the global work and travel thing. Just pause the video on, you'll, you can read it there, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm excited for the accommodation to be in Tokyo. And I didn't mention this. Um, I don't know if it's interesting to you, but it's interesting to me. The Genki School is actually in Shinjuku near a park and one of the busiest parts of Shinjuku, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Number five talks about the course and the structure of the course, the levels, and the location. I just said that. <laughs> there are option additional courses which seems so cool you can read it here but there's like stuff to do with anime and you know manga drawing and just like japanese culture and it seems so cool but i don't know about it because uh because it's extra money i don't want to spend it's extra money i don't really want to spend we'll see though and also the school services like computers and things that you get because you're a part of the school or like you know textbooks stuff like that the courses are beginner and advanced i'm going to be in the beginner course because my brain does not hold in the japanese that i've taught myself i need an actual class section six is about safety natural disasters and packing i should be fine in natural disasters it talks about how japan has typhoons and like earthquakes and stuff but other words that you should be fine <laughs> and the safety involves like um, Japan's a safe place but you know like use your best judgment <laughs> and things that you probably should pack that's it that was a lot to unload and that was two pieces of information my next video is gonna be about flights and travel insurance the cost of that what I'm paying for it how I'm paying for it what I haven't paid for yet if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I've given you pretty much all the information I have at the moment, so next time we'll go into more stuff. And uh, still got a while until I go. So if you like this video, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not going to force you because I'm a Hufflepuff. I think that's it. Okay.